Okay, now I don't know about you, but I'm ready to actually build something within AWS and my fingers are itching for it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do as a final sense of accomplishment for coming this far and getting your account set up to how it should be, honestly. Now getting a website live on the web used to be very difficult. You had to use four different services, at least tie them all together. It was the introduction to the world of AWS. And I'm happy to say that it's been greatly simplified but to the point where it's actually not difficult at all. We're gonna start by creating an HTML file. We'll put that in a bucket in AWS. A bucket is just a place where you can store stuff as the name suggests. And we'll tell AWS, hey, the object that we put in this AWS bucket is what we actually want to deploy to the web. Super fun, super easy, and it's a great new way of getting started with AWS. Very first thing though, is that we have to actually create this directory. So let's come over here, or this index.html file. So we're gonna come over here, uh, we're gonna make a directory. If you're on Mac, MD, if you're on Windows, what is it, MKDIR? Uh, either way though, make a directory. We're gonna call this a fundamentals course, just like that. And then we can CD into that directory, nothing too crazy there. And I'm gonna open this up in cursor. And inside of here, we can say something like, hey, let's create an index.html file, awesome. And then I'm just gonna prompt it of what I want it to do for me. Okay, so this is what I got, right? Create a fancy and beautiful looking landing page in my index.html file over here. Use inline CSS. It's for my course, it's for all of you. And I just wanna say thank you for taking the time for coming through this course. I'm gonna select send right over here and let it do its thing. So it's generating the index.html. If you never used cursor or a code editor that with automated LLMs, here you go. We can select accept file just like that. And I want to right click on this and select open with live server. So it gives me a preview in the web. And there you go, AWS Fundamentals course by me. But seriously and honestly, thank all of you for doing this. Now this is just local, right? Our job is to get this on the web. So let's come and maybe close this out. There we go, close this out, go over to our editor. And now we can deploy this to the web. Now, in case you need to re-log in to your AWS session, AWS SSO login will get you there. And this is gonna be our fundamentals course as the admin, that was the profile that we set up in the previous video. We can select this, it'll come over here. I'm still logged in, so it took me straight to the request approved. And now I can head back to the application. Great. Now, as mentioned in the beginning of this video, we want to create a bucket so that way we can put this index.html file in it. Now, the file itself is known as an object. The bucket is just a place where we can put stuff. So the command that I'll write to create the bucket is gonna be AWS S3. We want to make a bucket. And I think this looks good. Focus Otter Fundamentals Course. The one thing you have to note is that every single bucket is globally unique. So not just unique to your AWS account, but it has to be different from anybody else's in the world. So make it personal, make it fun, attach some random characters, you get the idea. We're gonna create this bucket. And if you hit enter here, this is what you get, right? It's trying to make the bucket and it's like, hey, I can't locate any credentials. If you ever get this, this means that you just have to re-authenticate into your profile or like I do all the time, you forget to put the profile information, the dash profile fundamentals course admin. This tells it what credentials to use. I'm gonna hit enter there and you can see it created it very fast. And now I can take this index.html file and put it inside of the bucket that we just created. What we wanna do is run this command, which is gonna be AWS S3. I want to copy CP, this index.html file, which is in this current directory into the bucket that I just made. So I delete what I had, right? But it's the fundamentals course bucket and then we're gonna attach the profile. We're gonna hit enter here, okay? So if you get this back, it means that it was uploaded to S3, but we don't know that, right? We should probably verify that everything was working. So let's go back to our AWS account. And then now we can explore S3. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service, but you can just type in S3 in this top console here. And this is one of the very first services that everybody jumps into. You can see that we in fact have that bucket, which again, just contains a bunch of files. You can put anything inside of it. So I'm gonna click on this you can see that we have our index.html file set up. Great. And you can also click on this. You can view it, right? Now, this is a little bit different from actually viewing it live on the web. This is, it's a signed URL, meaning you only have a limited amount of time to view this before that link expires. So even though it's live on the web, it's temporary. We want to make it permanent. And the way to do that is to come over to the properties, scroll all the way down, 
And right at the bottom, static website hosting. And that's because Amplify is now the default way of hosting your web applications on the web. So I can click on create Amplify app and that'll take my index.html file, give me an app name. I'm gonna call this fundamentals course. And then the index.html file, as a lot of you know, is already set as the web default, right? So I don't have to put index.html, but if you happen to name yours something different, then feel free. So from here, I can save and deploy. Note that this is very fast. It takes a few seconds and I can click on the actual link. So here we go. There's our site live on the web, but I wanna take it one step further. Say you're building out something for a client, right? And in this client, you want to make sure that only they can access it, right? You and them. So explore and amplify just a little bit more. We can come over to hosting. We can go down to access control. We can select on manage access. And right now it's publicly viewable. I'm gonna switch this so that it's admin and then it's gonna be password, super secure, right? I should probably put password one, there we go, and click on save. I'm not gonna save that in one password. I'm gonna come over to my site and hit refresh and note immediately I have to enter in an admin and a password before I can even view the site. Super great, super easy way to add authentication. It's just for testing purposes, but again, your clients will appreciate it if you have something like that set up. Now, if you're interested in building out full stack serverless applications, I do have a full stack cloud essentials course that I think you'll love. I think it's a great way for companies to sponsor. AWS community builders get half off, students get half off. And in that course, we do nothing but build out real world applications using common serverless applications that will scale, not cost you a whole lot, and will be sure to increase your value in the market. We cover authentication, databases, APIs, we touch on AI, and a whole bunch more. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to check out this Essentials course. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you're feeling secure and safe in your AWS development. My name is Focus Otter. Now go build something great.